Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have another very, very interesting and challenging question from algebra. x square plus y square over xy plus 1 equals to 0 is given to us. Then we have to evaluate expression x plus y over y whole power 32 plus x plus y over x whole power 32. Let's say this is our expression E. Now I will use our given equation and we can use our algebraic identities. So we will be writing x square plus y square as x plus y whole square minus 2xy. Denominator is xy. Then we have plus 1 equals to 0. Or we can write x plus y whole square over xy minus 2xy over xy plus 1 equals to 0. Now xy and xy will be over. We will get x plus y whole square over xy minus 2 plus 1 equals to 0. This will be equal to minus 1. Add 1 to both sides we will get x plus y whole square over xy equal to 1. Now I will cross multiply xy as x cannot be 0 and y cannot be 0. So we can write x plus y whole square equals to x y. x can't be 0, y cannot be 0. Now I will put power 16 to both sides. So we will write here power 16. In RHS we will consider power 16. Now we know the exponent law a power b whole power c. This is equal to a power b times c. So we will multiply these two numbers. I can write x plus y whole power 2 times 16. This will be equal to xy whole power 16. Or I can write x plus y whole power 32. This will be equal to xy whole power 16. Let us say this is our equation number 1. Now we will write our expression. You can see it is x plus y whole power 32 in the numerator. Let me write here. Expression is here. So we can write E will be equal to x plus y whole power 32 over y whole power 32 plus x plus y whole power 32 over x power 32. Now we have x plus y whole power 32 equals to xy whole power 16. Let me write equation number 1. 32. This was xy whole power 16. Which I will apply here and here. So we will get E equals to xy whole power 16 over y power 32 plus xy whole power 16 over x power 32. Now we know that ab whole power n can be written as a power n times b power n. So we can write expression equals to x times 16 y 16 over y power 32 plus x power 16 y power 16 over x power 32. Now we know one exponent law a power x over a power y we can write 1 over a power 
y minus x. So our expression will become x power 16 over y power 16 plus y power 16 over x power 16. This may be written as x over y whole power 16 plus y over x whole power 16. Now we will consider first bracket x over y as alpha, second bracket y over x as beta. Now I will calculate product and sum. So alpha times beta will be x over y times y over x. We will get 1. Now I will calculate alpha plus beta. So our required expression is in terms of alpha and beta I can write we are going to calculate alpha power 16 plus beta power 16. We have calculated alpha beta this is equal to 1. Now we are going to calculate alpha plus beta this will be equal to x over y plus y over x. Now I will take LCM. So this will be xy. Numerator will be x square plus y square. Now you can see from this given equation we can write this value equals to negative 1 from this equation. So I will write alpha plus beta. We are getting negative 1. Alpha beta is 1. Now we can think about one quadratic equation in variable t whose roots are alpha and beta. Then here we have sum of roots. Here we have product of roots. So equation would be t square minus sum of roots which is negative 1 times variable t plus product of roots which is 1 here equals to 0. So I will write t square plus t plus 1 equals to 0. Let me write equation here t square plus t plus 1 equals to 0. I can see easily t cannot be 1. So I will plug in t equal to 1, left hand side will be 3, RHS is 0 which is not equal. So we can multiply both sides by t minus 1. I will get t square plus t plus 1. RHS will be 0 times t minus 1, 0. And this is one algebraic formula t cube minus 1 cube equals to 0. Or I can write t cube equals to 1 cube or 1. Now if we will find out cube root of unity then we will get three solutions of this equation. First one is 1 and once we will solve this quadratic equation then we will be getting omega and omega square where omega will be minus 1 plus i times root 3 over 2 and omega square will be minus 1 minus i times square root 3 over 2. Now t was root of our equation alpha and beta. So now I can plug in t equal to alpha and t equal to beta. I will get two equations alpha cube equal to 1 and beta cube equal to 1. Our target expression is, let me write here, E is equal to alpha power 16 plus beta power 16. So I can write here alpha power 16 as alpha power 15 plus 1 plus beta power 15 plus 1 or I can write alpha power 15 times alpha plus beta power 15 times beta. 
alpha power 15 can be written as alpha cube whole power 5 times alpha plus beta cube whole power 5 times beta. Now alpha cube was 1, beta cube was 1. So I will write here 1 power 5 times alpha plus 1 power 5 times beta. 1 power 5 is 1. So I will write 1 times alpha plus 1 times beta. This will be equal to alpha plus beta. And alpha plus beta was negative 1. So our final answer becomes E is equal to negative 1. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.